All right. So for the first one here, the first thing we're going to do is looking at, we got 88 over here, which is going to be this length. And we got 48, which is this length, the horizontal length. And we got 96, which is the total. So we can see that's 96. That must be 96 as well. So this is 48 because 48 plus 48 is 96, which means that this is 48. And if this is 48, 48 plus 88 is 120 plus 16 is 136. So this length on top is going to be 136. Okay, so 136 at the top. One step closer to the perimeter. Now we're going to go to the vertical lines and we're just simply going to add all the vertical parts together. So that's 136 meters. This one here is 34 up till there, 24 to there, 18 till there. So let's add it up. 34 plus 24 is 58. 58 plus 18 is 76. So this entire length here is going to be 76 meters, which is going to be the vertical length. Now that I have that, I can work out my perimeter. And my perimeter is going to be given by simply adding all of those values together. All right, so I'm going to grab a calculator. I got 34 plus 136 plus 88 plus 24 plus 48 plus 18 plus 96 plus 76. And I get 520. I'm just going to double check this. All right. So I've got 34. This is question one. 34 plus 136 plus 88 plus 76 plus 88, 136, 76 plus 24 plus 48 plus 18 plus 96. Okay, so there we go. Definitely added all of them up. Let's see what this total comes to again. I'm going to try it again. So 34 plus 136 plus 88 plus 76, plus 24, plus 48, plus 18, plus 96, up to 520. I've got 520 meters for my perimeter. Now the area, what I'm going to do is divide it into rectangles. So I'm going to divide it into rectangles for the area. Okay, there's rectangle number one. This is going to be rectangle number two. And then rectangle number three will be this one at the bottom. Okay, so we divide it into rectangles. Getting the dimensions of the first one, it's going to be 34, which is your breadth. And you multiply it by the length, remember, 34 multiplied by 136. This one's length over here is 24. And this is 48 in length as well. So this is going to be 24 times by 48. Okay, so it'll give me that particular solution. And then at the bottom here, I've got 18 multiplied by 96. Okay, so 34 times 136 comes to 464. Twenty-four multiplied by forty-eight comes to one one five two. Eighteen multiplied by ninety-six comes to one seven two eight. And when I add all of that up, all right, my area is going to become four six two four plus one one five two plus one seven two eight. And that'll come to the total over there. All right, so 4624 plus 1152 plus 1728. And it'll be 7,504 meters squared. All right, so that's 34 times 136. Double check that. 24 times 48, that's right. 18 times 96, that's correct as well. So 18 times 96, 1728. Double check my answers for me. And let me know if you if you have any questions there. Plus one one five two plus one seven two eight seven five zero four meters squared.